Oh, yes. I can remember when heavy horses used to pull the fire truck all around the city of Friends. Horses? Were they fast enough in an emergency, Frankie? You've forgotten something, Martin. The city of Friends didn't have motor cars in the old days. No motor cars? How did people get about? Well, they either walked or used horsepower, Mia. I tell you, when the fire bell went, a strong team of horses could nearly outrun me. Come in, Tiffany. Where are you? <laughs> oh, sorry, Bobby. I was so enthralled by Frankie's stories, I lost track of time. Just checking your location, Tiffany. In the town square. We'll make a move now. Bye, Bobby. We'd better get a move on too, Frankie. Oh, I was really enjoying Frankie's stories about the olden days. <laughs> Another time, Abby. Bye. We'd better go and see what Ted's up to, Abby. See you later. Bye. Bye. Hey, did either of you see Tom in town? Uh, no, Raph, I haven't seen him all morning. He left this morning saying he'd be back soon. <laughs> and that was a couple of hours ago. He sneaked out whilst Elfie was taking a nap in her shed. He's gone to buy her some apples. It's a surprise. Oh, your secret's safe with us, Raph. Right. Seeing as it's nice and quiet, I'm going inside to tidy my office. Oh. oh. <laughs> Help! I'm locked inside the station! Oh, I haven't got a key. Have you, Raph? Afraid not, Frankie. We haven't got a key, Barney. What shall we do? Get Raph to radio Elfie. She might have a spare key in her shed. Come in, Elfie. Are you receiving me? Come in, Elfie. We have an emergency situation. What? What's going on? Oh, hearing you loud and clear, Raph. What's the problem? Barney's locked himself inside the fire station. Do you have a spare key? Oh, no. Hold on. I'll be with you right away. Help! Stand back, Barney. I'm going to try forcing the door open. Oh, Ooh, that didn't work. Oh, now what? Elfie, I've got an idea. Radio the police station. Bobby's sure to have a spare set of keys. <laughs> Don't worry, Elfie. I've got spare keys for every house in the City of Friends. Wonderful. I'll drive over with them right away, Elfie. Thanks, Tiffany. See you soon. Come on, Timber. Hop in. Woof, 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 woof. Here's the key to the fire station, Tiffany. <laughs> Don't lose it. Bobby, I've just received a report of an emergency situation in the City of Friends. The police crew are required immediately. Uh-oh. What about Barney? An emergency call-out has to be our priority, Tiffany. Right, Bobby. I'd better let Alfie know we're not coming. But if you don't come, Barney will be locked up in the fire station all day. I'm sorry, Elfie. There really is no alternative. Well, you could always send Timber with the key, Tiffany. Oh, That's not a bad idea, Frankie. I'll tie the key to her collar and send her over right away. Is it a good idea to trust a dog with a set of keys, Frankie? Well, if horses could pull fire trucks in the old days, there's no reason why Timber can't safely carry a set of keys. Just so long as he doesn't get distracted by a rabbit. I want you to take this key to Elfie at the fire station. Go, Timber! Go! <laughs> I can't wait to see Elfie's face when she sees these apples. Hey, Timber! What's the rush? Hmm. 
somebody's dropped a key. Ah, oh, it's the fire station key. How did it get here? Oh. Timber's here. Woof, woof, woof. Woof. Good boy, Timber. No. Where's that key? Uh, you found it, Elfie. No, Frankie. But, but Tiffany said she'd fix it to Timber's collar. Well, it's not there now, Frankie. Ooh, you'd better get on the radio and make an urgent call to Tiffany. <laughs> Hello, Elfie here. Are you receiving me? Receiving you loud and clear, Elfie. Has Timber arrived with the key yet? Timber's arrived, but without the key. Oh, oh Max, stop. What's the matter, Tom? Can you take this key to the fire station? It's an emergency, Max, so be as quick as you can. Don't worry, Tom. Me and Scooter, the fastest thing on two wheels in the City of Friends. Twenty-six green bottles hanging on the wall. Twenty-six green bottles hanging on the wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall, there'd be twenty-five green bottles hanging on... Tom sent these for you, Elfie. Mmm, my favourite. Would anybody like one? Oh, yes, please. <laughs> Come on, Raph. You mustn't miss out on my treat. Oh, thank you, Elfie. <sighs> Did you get the key, Elfie? Key? What key? The key in the basket. I found it on the pavement in town. <coughs> hmm? Max? <coughs> Sorry, Tom. I was so excited about the apples, I forgot all about the key. Here it is. Key that Timber dropped, Tom. Hey, everybody! Remember me? Oh, coming, Barney. Oh, thank you. I thought I was going to be stuck in the station all night. <laughs> <laughs> I see you found the key, Barney. <laughs> I didn't have much to do with it, Bobby. It was these guys that did all the work. Timber started off with the key but dropped it. I found it and gave it to Max. Then Scoot and I whizzed over here. And I unlocked the fire station door. And, ta-da! And here I am. A brilliant example of team effort. City of Friends team effort. <laughs> you can't beat it. Yes! Yes! Race you to the bike track! Yeah, yeah! What's your best thing, Martin? Mine's wheelies, I think. I am the best wheelie rower in the City of Friends. I like the jump best. The one at the bottom of the hill. Oh, yeah, the jump. You're quite good at that. Yes! Yes! The children should be here by now. They said they'd be back for tea. It's all ready. Yes. I hope they're all right. Oh, hi, Max. Good to see you. Hi there. Are Martin and Mia around? I've got the afternoon off. I thought I'd do something with them. Oh, they're with Jumpy. They've all gone to the bike track in the forest. 
Oh, great! Only, they're supposed to be back by now. We're a bit worried, actually. Hey, I'll go and look for them. Oh, Max, are you sure? Of course, no problem. Thanks. Won't be long. OK, so the last one to cross the line without falling off is the winner. <laughs> Ready? Go! Whoa. Oh, I'm out! Oh, I'm out! <laughs> oh, I won! <laughs> Let's do it again! Dad are worried. But, oh no, it's not tea time already, is it? Uh huh. We had no idea. Come on, we better hurry. It's all right. No need to rush. Max to Tiffany. Max to Tiffany. Hi, Max. Receiving you. Could you pop round to the cafe, please, Tiffany? Tell them I found the children. Everyone's fine, and we'll be back soon. I thought you were supposed to be off duty, Max. I am. Just doing a favour, that's all. OK, I'll be there in a moment. Thanks, Tiffany. Now, before we go, Scoot and I are going to have a quick go on this track of yours. Oh, I don't think it's right for Scoot, Max. It's really bumpy. I'll just give it a try. If it's too difficult, I'll leave it. He's like a little kid. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Go, Max! OK, now let's try out some jumps. Here goes! Whoa! Yes! Hooray! <laughs> Just time for one more. Whoa! Way! Oh, yes! Fantastic, Max! Try that one! The biggest one! We should be going now. Max! Last one! Promise! Hmm. We'd better let him. fell down. It can't be far away. Well, thanks for letting us know, Tiffany. Are you sure you can't stay for tea? Afraid not. I'm on duty. Max said they wouldn't be long. Thanks again. There's no sign of it, Max. We've looked everywhere. It's disappeared. Oh, no. I can't ride Scoot. I can't walk. And now I've lost my radio. I think that makes me a fairly useless police monkey. But you do have us. But I'm supposed to be looking after you, not the other way round. That doesn't matter, Max. The main thing is to get help. Yes, you're right. OK, how about this? 
Mia stays here with me. Because you should never leave a casualty on their own. Exactly. Martin, you go to the cafe and explain what's happened. Jumpy, you cycle to the hospital and get help. On my way, Max. And apologise for me, Martin, will you? OK. And go carefully, both of you. We don't want any more accidents. Poor old Scoot. I don't think anything's broken, Max. Yes. Sorry, Scoot. It's not your fault you're not a bicycle. <laughs> or that you're such a bad driver. Uh, uh, oh, uh, that's true, too. Uh, oh, oh, Max? Yes? I think it's obvious you can't walk on it, don't you? Oh, sorry. That's better. Have a drink. You know the main track into the forest? Yep. It's just off that. Okay, hold tight. <laughs> Yay! Ouch! Oh, have I broken anything? No, you've sprained your ankle. So, what do we do, Ted? We strap it up. Don't worry, Max. Ted's a really good strapper-upper. You probably expected one of us to have hurt ourselves doing a silly stunt, Ted. Not one of the emergency services. Not really, to be honest. After all, it is Max we're talking about here. Uh, there. We're done. Well, that's really good. Thanks, Ted. Why don't we all go to the cafe? There's a tea waiting. With sticky buns. And everything. Oh, uh, wait a moment. Ted, could you call me up on your radio? Really? Uh-huh. Ted to Max. Ted to Max. Ted to Max. <sighs> Got it. Come on, everyone. Tea time. I suppose it's not the last time we'll be called out to help Max. <laughs> yeah, with a monkey in a police uniform, you never know what will happen next. <laughs> <laughs> Morning, Frankie. Hi, PT. Fancy something to eat, Tiffany? Certainly do, Tom. Just got to get Timber out. <laughs> Looks like Timber's hungry too. Sandwiches, drink, camera. Hi, Timber. Hi, Timber. Hey, are you guys going on holiday? We're going to track wild animals' footprints in the City of Friends forest, Tom. Whoa, I didn't know there were elephants and tigers in the City of Friends forest. <laughs> Not those kind of animals, Tom. We're going to take photographs of rabbits and deer and birds and put them in our school nature books. You can take a photograph of me for your school book. <laughs> Come with us, Tom. It'll be fun. Sorry, Barney and I have to clean up the fire station today. That's not what real firemen do. Real firemen do all sorts of jobs, Martin, including sweeping the floor and washing dishes. Are you busy, Tiffany? Afraid so. I've got to finish some police reports for Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> I know you think police reports are boring, Timber, but they are an important part of my job. Timber. Why don't you take him with you? Really? Really? <laughs> I'm sure he'd rather be in the City of Friends forest than stuck indoors with me. <laughs> hey, Mia, look at these. It's an animal with webbed feet. The tracks must belong to a duck. Come on, Timber. Let's find some ducks. <laughs> there are hundreds of duck footprints. <laughs> Shush, Timber. Martin, 
We mustn't lose sight of him. He's completely disappeared. stuck in his paw. Can you get it out? I can try. <coughs> Sorry, Timber. I was only trying to help. Let's take him to the City of Friends Hospital. Tina and Ted will know what to do. Timber can't walk. The thorn will go in deeper if he puts weight on his paw. We could carry him to the hospital. Mm, he's far too heavy. We've got to do something, Martin. We could leave Timber here. Whilst we go for help. We can't leave him. He'll just follow us. Maybe we could tie him up to one of the trees. First we must cover up his sore paw so that he doesn't get any more dirt in it. Oh. Sorry, Timber. Oh. I'm being as gentle as I can. You'll be comfortable here, Timber. We'll be back as soon as we can, Timber. Oh. Promise. Oh. Stay, Timber. Oh. Stay. find Abby and the ambulance crew. And I'll go and tell Tiffany the bad news. <sighs> oh, calm down, Mia. You'll do yourself an injury. <sighs> Abby, we need your help. Timber's hurt. He's in the forest. <laughs> Tiffany! Timber's hurt. Oh, where is he? In the forest. We had to leave him there. He can't walk. Are you sure, Martin? There are lots of places that look the same in the forest. I think it was here. Look! Timber's footprints! OK, we'd better split up into two search parties. Ted, Mia and I will go this way. Martin and Tiffany, follow me. The footprints stop here. There are more over here, Tina. Timber must have gone this way. There are fresh footprints here. Could this be Timber's hair? It's definitely Timber's. He must have snagged himself on the bushes as he went along the footpath. Well, at least we know we're on the right path. This way! Oh, we thought we'd lost you, Timber. Hi, Timber. What do you suggest, Tina? Do you want to try getting the thorn out with tweezers, Ted? Mm. Hold still, boy. Ah, it's out. Well done, Timber. <laughs> Calm down, Timber. There's more to do. I've got to clean your sore paw and bandage your leg. Let's take a picture of Timber looking like a wounded soldier. Smile, Timber. You're a very brave boy. You deserve a smiley face. And you two deserve a smiley face for tracking Timber down. Thanks, Ted. Thanks, Ted. No jumping about, Timber. You can't put weight on that sore foot for a while. 
<laughs> Here's your chance to see how a portable stretcher works. You're going to be carried out of the City of Friends forest in style. Look, Petey's waiting to take you home. Hey, Timber, take it easy. I'll have you back at the police station before you know it. There you go. You're going to have to keep an eye on him, Tiffany. He'll need to have the wound cleaned twice a day, and he must rest. <laughs> I don't think Timber's going to be an easy patient, Tina. Probably not, but it's the only way he'll get better. Thank you for all your help. Our pleasure, Tiffany. See you later. See you later. You know, we set off to take photographs of local wildlife, but we've only got pictures of the ducks and Timber with his leg in a bandage. <laughs> I suppose we'll have to do it all over again. Can you do me a favour? Of course. Sure. Don't take Timber next time. <laughs> Tiffany's right. Let him get over this adventure before you take him on another. <laughs> <laughs> Want a lift home? Yes, please. Hop in. <laughs> Now, Martin and Mia, are you sure you've got everything? <laughs> yes, Mum. Drinks? Yes. Plenty of food? You know we have. Oh, mine's in my new lunchbox. Well, that's very smart, Jumpy. All right, then. Have a good time, all of you. And don't forget to tell G where you're going. We won't. Bye, Mum. <laughs> Bye. So, I decided I'm not going to lose your key ever again, Haley. <laughs> really? How can you be so sure, Max? Simple. I'm going to put it on a special hook outside my front door. That way, I'll know where it is, won't I, Timber? <coughs> oh, come on. It's a great idea. It's bound to work. Hello, G. Hello, you lot. I spy rucksacks. Are you off on an expedition? Yes, to Friend Mountain. Oh, it's a lovely day for it. Yes, and I've got a new lunchbox, G. Look! Oh, I say, that's really shiny, Jumpy. Hey, careful. The sun on that tin makes a really bright reflection. Oh, sorry, G. No problem. Have fun, then. I'll be looking out for you. Thanks, G. Bye. Bye. Watch me! Watch me! See how far I can jump! <laughs> Is it time for lunch yet? Jumpy, that's the third time you've asked. You've got food on the brain today. Not really. It's your new lunchbox. You can't wait to open it, can you? Maybe. <laughs> hey, look. We can see G from here. Hi, Hi G. G! She's seen us. Oh, it's really, really hot now. Let's stop for a bit. For a bit of lunch, maybe? Oh, all right, Jumpy. You win. Come on, let's find some shade. We must make sure we take all our litter with us. Hey, this isn't ours. Oh, you're right. But it hasn't been here long by the look of it. There must be some other people out here today. Yes, people who don't care about keeping the countryside tidy. Can you see anyone, Jumpy? Nope, but oh, I can see smoke. Smoke? Yeah, look, over there. Maybe it's those other picnickers. They must have lit a campfire and left it burning. Can we put it out? No way. It's spreading too fast. It's a job for the fire service. We must go back and tell Rat. <laughs> Martin! Ow. Sorry. There's no way I can go on. You two go ahead and warn Raph about the fire. You must never leave someone alone when they've hurt themselves. I'll stay with you. 
Jumpy, can you go on and raise the alarm? Of course I can. Watch me go. <laughs> Be careful, though. I will. <laughs> oh, great. There's G. 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 Oh, she can't see me. And I know she can't hear me. What can I do? Oh, I know. G said the sun on this tin makes a really bright reflection. Maybe she'll see this. <laughs> now what can that be? Oh, I think it's Jumpy with that lunchbox of his. It's like a signal. Maybe something's wrong. Bobby, someone's signalling from Friend Mountain, and I think one of the children may be in trouble. Thanks, G. Sounds like a job for Max and Haley. Get them to take a look, will you? Will do. There. One new hook. Now all I have to do is put Haley's key on it and... Uh, oh, where is it? Where's the key? G to Max. G to Max. Receiving you, G. Go ahead. Possible emergency on Friend Mountain, Max. Bobby wants you and Haley to take a look. Oh, on my way. I don't believe this. Where's the key? I put it here. Surely I put it here. Didn't I? Max, where are you? Coming, G. One moment. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, where is it? <laughs> Timber, where did you find it? <laughs> oh, thanks, Timber. I must have dropped it again. Right, off I go. Oh, the fire's getting bigger and closer. Hurry up, Jumpy. Receiving you, Max. Barney, there's a major fire on Friend Mountain, north side. Looks like it's spreading fast. OK, got that, Max. I need you to get back here to the fire station as quickly as you can. Got there, Barney. We're heading back. I get it. Jumpy wants us to look over there. Receiving you, Max. Casualty on Friend Mountain. Martin's hurt his ankle. He can't walk, but Mia's with him. Thanks, Max. We're on our way. Keep going, Elfie. It's a big fire. Haley will need a full tank. How are we doing, Tom? Nearly there. Bit more, Elfie. More. OK, hold it. We're done. How does that feel? Loads better, thanks, Tina. Oh, look! Here comes Haley. That's some fire! Right, Max. You need to hover just here, then we'll drop the water. OK. Left. Left. Hold it. Stand by. Release! and Haley. Is it out? Yep. We've done it. Yeah! Your ankle will be better soon. It's only a sprain. Well done, everyone. Good work. 
especially Jumpy for raising the alarm. And Mia for doing the right thing and not leaving Martin on his own when he was hurt. It's a good thing I had this new lunchbox. Know what? That's the perfect place for me to keep Haley's key. What? <laughs> Only joking. But I'm going to have to think very hard about where to keep it in future, aren't I, Timber? <laughs> Can we go to the fete, Mum? Not until we've made the food for it. We got a big order in this morning, a batch of chocolate muffins and as many toffee apples as we can make. Oh, oh no. The fete's the only day in the whole year that we get a chance to ride in the emergency service vehicles. Petey the police car, Frankie the fire engine and Abby the ambulance. Please, Mum. <laughs> OK, OK. As soon as you've made the toffee apples, you can go and join your friends at the fete. <laughs> Deal! More water, Elfie! We'll soon have you bright and shiny, Frankie. <laughs> I've got soap in my eyes! Close your eyes, Frankie. OK, you're done. I wonder if Petey and Abby will be as clean and shiny as me. No chance. We'll outshine all the emergency services in the City of Friends today. Thanks for looking after Timber this morning. Bobby and I would never have got Petey cleaned with Timber under our feet. <laughs> there you go, cheeky boy. <laughs> 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 he wants some more, Tiffany. That's enough, Timber. Oh. I know you love chocolate muffins more than anything else in the world, but chocolate is bad for dogs. Come on, boy. Let's go and find Petey and Bobby. <laughs> See you later. See, See you at the fete. fete. <laughs> Looking good, Tina. Makes me blink just looking at Abby's shiny bodywork. You could always lend a hand, Ted. Uh-uh, you're doing a grand job. Lazy bear, you just want Tina to do all the work. Shh, Abby! <laughs> hey, Petey, we're first at the fate. Ha-ha! <laughs> that just proves how wrong Frankie and Abby are. They always say they're faster than me, but we beat them to it. See him, Petey? No, Bobby. Where could he have gone to? I'll call Barney. No problem, Bobby. We'll look out for Timber. Hey, Raf? Yes, Barney? Look out for police dog Timber. He's gone for a walkabout and Tiffany's worried sick. We'll do, Barney. I'll get G to help too. Good thinking, Raf. Why would Timber disappear on the day of the fate? Don't know, G. He'll miss out on all the fun. That's the last of the apples, Mum. Hmm, I was hoping you'd be able to take the apples to the fate, but the toffee's still sticky. It won't take long to set. You could bring the toffee apples to the fate, along with the chocolate muffins. <laughs> OK, off you go. Yeah! <laughs> Thanks, Mum! Bye, Dad! Hey, Barney! That sounds like Abby! Hi, guys! I just got a call from Bobby. Timber's gone missing. What? Looks like he's run away. 
<laughs> Silly boy, he'll miss all the fun of the fate. Oh, quickly, come over here. Take a look at this. Don't be late for the fate. We'll be right with you. I'll just get the toffee apples. Hey, Petey. Can we have a ride? What's the matter, Tiffany? I've lost Timber. <laughs> Here comes the best policeman in town. Whoa! I don't need to ride around in Petey the police car to show how fast I am. Whee! Oh, oh. Oh, phew. I can smell smoke! Oh! This is a job for Frankie and the fire crew. But the fire crew and all the other emergency services are at the fate. In that case, this is a job for the bravest policeman in the city of Friends. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> What's that noise? <laughs> Don't ask me. I can't hear anything when my siren's blaring. Let's hear it one more time, team. One, two, three, go! <laughs> Thanks for the ride, Alfie. Are you sure we're not squashing you? You squashing me? <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> Look, Mia, there's Mum and Dad. to lower you down. Hold on tight. We found Timber! He's stuck in a tree! Everybody stay calm. Elfie knows exactly what to do. Higher, Barney. Over to the left a bit. <coughs> Don't worry, Timber. I'll have you safely down in no time. a treat after all he's been through. <gasps> I left the muffins in the oven. Oh, they'll be burnt to a cinder by now. If you left the oven on all afternoon, the cafe could be on fire. Make way! <laughs> Look what I've just rescued. Ta-da! <gasps> the chocolate muffins! <laughs> Thank you, Max. You're a hero. <laughs> what would you do without me? It's another job well done in the City of Friends. <laughs> What's the matter? You sound awful. Yes, I've got a bad cough and cold, Raph. Oh, poor you. Wrap up warm and get some rest, G. <coughs> I'll try. <coughs> Tiffany, are you quite sure you don't mind me going fishing with Ted? 
Of course I don't mind, Bobby. You two deserve a father and son's day out. I hope the weather stays fine for you. Um, I will need Petey for the trip. What will Tiffany do without a police car, Bobby? If I need to get somewhere quickly, Max can take me on Scoot. And G's always here to pick up any radio messages. <laughs> and I've got Timber too. I'm sure we can survive without you for one day, Bobby. You've worked hard over your training period, Ted. A day out with your dad will do you the world of good. I feel bad leaving you on your own, Tina. Stop worrying, Ted. Just go and enjoy yourself. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to be beside the sea. Bye! Bye. Have fun! Woo, woo, woo. Tiffany! <coughs> oh, you sound really poorly, G. Uh, uh, there's a traffic jam a mile long. <coughs> Traffic what, G? Traffic jam! <coughs> Stop talking, G. I'm going to phone the hospital. Tina, it's Tiffany. Can you come over and check out G? She's in a bad way. <coughs> <coughs> Timber, fetch! City of Friends Police Department. Hello, there's a serious traffic jam a mile long at the City of Friends Central Road Junction. Thanks for letting me know. I'll get over there right away. Sorry, G. Is that what you were trying to tell me when you lost your voice? I've been in touch with Tina. She'll be over soon with some medicine for you, G. Max! Are you receiving me, Max? Don't worry, Tiffany. I can take care of the police station while you sort out the traffic jam. Yes! I'm in charge! OK, Timber. Let's get the City of Friends traffic moving again. <sighs> this is the life, Ted. You can say that again, Dad. If Bobby and Ted don't get back soon, they'll be in big trouble. Ah, <sighs> this is easy peasy. I just sit around waiting for a phone call. <laughs> City of Friends Police Department, Max speaking. How can I help? Max, I need you to get an urgent message to Tiffany. Tell her that the tide's coming in and I can't locate Ted and Bobby. Oh, will do, Petey. I'm in charge. Oh. <coughs> hey, gee, you sound terrible. I feel terrible. <coughs> I'm in charge. I'm going over to the hospital right away to get you some medicine, gee. Whoops! Oh, nearly forgot. Tell Tiffany that Petey phoned in with a message. Um, the tide's in and he's looking for Ted and Bobby, OK? No! <coughs> What are we going to do, Dad? Oh, I haven't a clue, Ted. Oh, looks like we're well and truly stuck. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, Tina. She's lost her voice and she can't stop coughing. Don't worry, Max. I'm on my way over to the police station with some medicine for her. How did you know she was ill? Tiffany phoned me earlier. Oh. Hurry, Tina. She's in a terrible state. <laughs> I'm in charge, and I think we deserve a break. Fancy a trip to the seaside, Scoot? Abby! Good to see you. Where's Tina? She's taking a look at G. Oh, I hope she gets better soon. We'd be lost without G in her tower, looking out for everybody in the City of Friends. 
Hi, Tiffany. Hi, Tina. How's G? She's got a high temperature and she's feverish. I've told her she must rest her voice. <coughs> Tiffany! Tiffany! <coughs> Pete has gone to fight B Bobby! <coughs> Died. If you don't rest, G, you're really going to make yourself ill. <coughs> Calling the emergency fire services. Calling Barney. Are you receiving me? Thanks for coming so quickly, Barney. I only hope we're not too late, Tiffany. Oh, look, Dad. Petey's coming to our rescue. Petey, my hero! <laughs> Quickly, climb aboard before the tide gets even higher. Oh, thanks, Petey. Oh, thanks, Petey. You can do it, Petey. Come on, you can do it. Hey, Max! Did you pass on my message to Tiffany like I said, Max? Uh, not exactly. But I did tell G to tell Tiffany when she saw her. Oh, Max. Petey's radio's waterlogged, so we can't call out. Can we trust you to deliver a message to Tiffany, Max? Yes. Tell her we need help to pull Petey off the beach before the tide comes in. You need help to pull Petey off the beach before the tide comes in. Got it, Bobby? Don't let us down again, Max. Tiffany, I've got a message for you. You had a message a while ago, Max, but you failed to deliver it. I'm sorry, Tiffany, but I'm making up for it now. Petey's stuck on the beach with the tide coming in. He needs help right away. We're heading over there now. Come with us. We may need your help. <laughs> OK, team. Let's move it. Hold on tight, Elfie. Throw the tow line to Petey, Elfie. Gotcha. Oh! Take it away, Frankie. Come on, Petey, move. Yeah! Go, Frankie, go! Oh, thanks for rescuing us, Frankie. <laughs> All in a day's work, Ted. Bye, Dad. Let's go fishing again sometime. Yes, but next time we'll go when the tide's out, son. Can you wrap this scarf around G's throat, Tiffany, and give her a hot water bottle when she goes to bed? Of course I will, Tina. Thank you. Oh, I feel better already. Tina's woolly scarf is so warm and cosy. What a lot of people for a quiet day out in the city of friends. <laughs> <laughs>